there's Scott here again from EdgeMath. Uh, I've got an, an example of an equivalence relation uh, question we can go through. So we're given a relation where AB is related to CD if AD equals BC. We want to see if that satisfies the three properties. So we need to check it's reflexive, which means that it is AB congruent to AB. Um, and symmetric. Uh, if AB is related to CD, then is CD also related to AB? And then transitive, um, if the first pair is related to a second pair, and second pair is related to a third pair, then is the first pair related to the third pair? So we got first pair related to second, second related to third, so is the first pair related to the third pair? And we can go through and check each of these using the definition. So we can just straight use the definition. So AB is related to AB, that means the that would be if the first and the fourth and the second and the third multiply to give the same thing. So that would be A times B equals B times A. And that's certainly true. So so it's reflexive. Is it symmetric? Um if A B is related to C D, that means A D equals B C then is CD also related to AB, which would mean is CB related or equal to DA? And you can see that these are just this is just written in reverse order. AD equals BC. We can flip that around to CB equals DA. And so that's certainly true um, if we're dealing with real numbers. And then finally, is it transitive if AD equals BC? B, C, and C, F equals D, E, then is, let's make a question mark to know, we need to verify this, is A, F equal to B, E, and we need to go through and check that, if that's true. Actually, this should be quick, if we, if we just multiply down, if we multiply right across, we get A, D, C, F equals B, C, D, E. So if we multiply right down, and then we can cancel, and we can see quickly. If we cancel the D and the C, if we divide out by D and C, then we get just using algebra A, F equals B, E. So it's also transitive. So that's it. So it satisfies all three. So we're done.